Welcome to F260, week 13, Joshua 5, verses 10 to 15, and chapter 6, entitled, It's Later Than You Think. The highlight verse is Joshua 6, 4. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with their trumpets. Explaining this, at the Lord's instructions, <clears throat> the Israelites were to march around Jericho one time each day for six days with the Ark of the Covenant and the seven priests blowing their trumpets. On the seventh day, to march around the city seven times. Then the priests blow their trumpets and the people shout and the wall would come down and they would march in and take the city and destroy all that was therein. <clears throat> Applying this, the trumpet is made from a ram's horn, also known by its Hebrew name, the shofar. The sound of the shofar could be heard from a great distance and can produce only the first two tones of the musical scale. It was used by the priests during services of sacrifice or to rally troops on the battlefield, as was done in this instance. Have you ever awakened from sleep with the realization that it was something you heard in your sleep that woke you up? For example, a barking dog. What awakened me one morning was not a barking dog. It was the sound of a trumpet. It sounded like no trumpet I had ever heard before. A clear, high-pitched, resonating tone. I realized this had all this all had to do with uh, what is written in one Thessalonians four eighteen. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The entire passage of 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18 was touched on in a previous journal, week 7, Exodus 11, about the end time rapture of the church, which is depicted in these verses. Although previously discussed, it bears repeating here, but I will just summarize it. We are told here, and in 1 Corinthians 15, uh, that when the trump of God sounds, the dead, the just dead, will rise out of their graves and be given their new glorified bodies. The saved saints who are still alive at that time will be instantly transformed into their new glorified bodies. And both groups will be caught up to heaven as the bride of Christ to attend the marriage feast of the Lamb. The trumpet I heard that morning is the trump cited in verse 18. Instinctively, I knew this was from the Lord. And in response to my query to him, I heard these words. The sound you heard is my angel blowing his horn to warn you to prepare and to tell others to prepare for my son is coming soon and it's later than you think. My response, this was a clear warning of the imminency of the Lord's coming for his bride and that we have on our wedding garments, which are the garment of salvation and the robe of righteousness with which we are adorned when we are born again. I am wearing mine. I sure hope you are wearing yours because it's later than you think and the Lord is coming soon. Amen. God bless.